Okay, so in this video, we will find the following integral using the method of rationalizing substitution, or if you prefer, by using a V substitution. So the idea is by making a proper substitution, we want to eliminate these fractional powers of x, and then obtain the integral of a rational function. So we want to let x be equal to which power of v? And the idea is we want the smallest power that will eliminate every fractional power of x, as if you artificially, if you take the power of v to be too large, you will artificially inflate the powers in your rational function and therefore make artificially the problem more difficult. So we're looking for the smallest integer that is divisible by 4, by 6, and by 2. So if you were going too quickly here, you would simply say, well, okay, 4 times 6 is 24, and 24 is divisible by 4, 6, and 2, so you could go with x being v to the 24. But what you want is the least common multiple of 4, 6, and 2, and that is not 24, but 12. The smallest positive integer divisible by 4, 6, and 2 is 12 and not 24. So always be careful about this. And you can try, if you want, to see what happens if instead of v to the 12, you use v to the 24, and you will see that you will be artificially making the rational function more complicated, therefore artificially making your life more complicated. So always shoot for the smallest integer divisible by each fractional power. Okay, and now of course we're good to go. So, the square root of x is a power of 1 half, divide 12 by 2 you get v to the 6. The sixth root of x is a power of 1 over 6, 12 over 6 is 2. And the fourth root of x, this is a power of 1 quarter, well, 12 over 4 is 3. All we're missing now is our differential, so dx is, well, the differential of v to the 12 is by the power rule 12, v to the 11 times dv. And now we can make our substitution. So what do we have? 1 over the square root of v, v to the 6, the square root of x, sorry, v to the 6th power, times the 6th root of x, v squared, plus the 4th root of x, v cubed. times, of course, dx, which is 12, v to the 11, dv. So two things, we'll factor the 12 outside of a scalar multiple, and we'll have a v to the 11 on the numerator over, and here we can factor a v squared. And we'll have v squared times v to the 6, which is v to the 8, times simply v plus 1. If I swap the order, this would be 1 plus v, but this is the same as v plus 1. dv. And so there is now one more simplification. We can cancel, of course, these two and have a single v cubed on the numerator. And what we're left with is surprisingly simple. We have to integrate the rational function v cubed over v plus 1. Well, the first thing is that, yes, our v substitution did the trick. We went from this rather unpleasant looking expression to a simple rational function. So, of course, now we have to use long division as 3 is larger than 1. So let us divide v cubed by v plus 1.
be careful again, negative negative v is positive v plus 1. And now we have a constant remainder, therefore of degree 0. 0 is less than 1, and this completes our long division. And so the end result will be the integral of v cubed over v plus 1 is its quotient, plus the remainder, well, minus 1 over the divisor, v plus 1. And we have a very now straightforward integral. We'll leave 12 as a constant multiple, but the first three terms we use the power rule. And of course, the integral of 1 over v plus 1 with respect to v is simply the ln of v in absolute value, plus c. And our final step is to go back from v to a function of x. Well, if x is v to the 12, v will be taking the 12th root on both sides, the 12th root of x. Which you can, of course, write as the 12th root of x, or as an exponent of 1 over 12. So I'll use this form. So v is x to the power of 1 over 12. And now we can make our substitution. So 12 times. Well, if you cube v, you get 3 over 12, which is a quarter. So x to the 1 over 4 over 3. Minus, if you square v, you get 2 over 12, which is 1 over 6. Plus, well, this is a single v, x to the 1 over 12, minus the ln of v plus 1, x to the 1 over 12. And, of course, plus c. If you want it here, as 3 and 2 are divisible by 12, you could break 12 as 2 times 6 and multiply through by 6 here to get rid of these two fractions. And this is again entirely up to you. At this point, it becomes really just a question of aesthetic. You could also, if you wanted to, multiply through by 12 as well. So if we just say multiply by 12, we'll have what? 4 times x to the 1 over 4 minus 6 times x to the 1 over 6 plus 12 times x to the 1 over 12 minus, finally, 12 times the ln of x to the 1 over 12 plus 1 in absolute value plus, of course, c. What's kind of nice about this is you can look at the exponents and the scalar multiples. 4 x to the 1 over 4 minus 6 x to the 1 over 6 plus 12 times x to the 1 over 12. So it just kind of looks, well, looks good. And so this is our final answer, which is, again, non-trivial, but the work was not so difficult. So we had this very unpleasant-looking integral, but we recognize that by choosing a proper power of v and letting that be x, we could transform the integral into one of a rational function, which we can, of course, evaluate systematically using our method of partial fraction, and in the end, of course, fairly easily replace v in terms of x. And that's it.